Okay, so I am headed over to the second job of the day uh, in Downingtown. It's uh, August the 17th, Saturday. Um, I was told this nest is uh, pretty low to the ground. It's in like a uh, garden area. I guess it's, uh, they told me a hornet's nest, but being low to the ground, it could be either a yellow jacket, thin ground yellow jacket, or a uh, bald face nest. I guess I'll know when I get there, but uh, if it makes YouTube, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm not sure if the customer was stung. I know that um, they swarmed. Uh, they were doing some work in the garden and they did swarm. So it is in a high risk area, so removal is warranted. I always tell people if they're up and out of the way over 10 feet or you don't have to do any work around the nest uh, to just let it go because all nests are annual. They will die out by the first or second frost usually, unless if they're in a structure. Um, but if they're in an out of the way place, I mean, consider just leaving it alone. I mean, they do kill flies, caterpillars, uh, mosquitoes, crickets. Uh, earwigs, all kinds of stuff. So they are, they do have some benefits. So if um, they're not a risk, I'd say enjoy them um, because they do take care of your garden past all species do. Some of them are annoying scavengers, but uh, most of them, um, most of them are not scavengers and all of them do uh, prey on other insects for a living. So if you can leave them alone, that's what I suggest. Um, all right, so I'll see you when I get to the job. Bye-bye. All right, so here I am at the job. August 17th, second job of the day, about 11 a.m. And they are baldies. You can kind of see the nest. They're low riding, low ride. Dun 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 dun. The entrance hole's right there, but I might have to trim some. So I don't know what it was attached to initially. Um, probably one of those uh, branches, shrub branches there or something. Um, but yeah, this is actually built into the ground. I don't know if they excavated, they could have, because it looks like they are going a little bit underground. This species doesn't normally nest at ground level, so this is a unique one. They are peaceful now. Um, I'm gonna start talking now and they get riled up, so uh, I'm gonna get to work here. It's getting hot out, so. than uh, the last one. And they don't, I don't think they released the alarm pheromone yet, so they're not pouring out of there and they're not swarming me. Just kind of suck them up as they return. I've got a group of them around me, but uh, they're getting sucked up. So just kind of draw the numbers down and then I'll uh, start, start banging around, so to speak. How's that didn't upset him, but yeah, just kind of float into the hose. Much uh, calmer than the other nest I just removed. You have a problem with wasps in southeastern Pennsylvania? You can find me at www.thewaspexpert.com. Take care of the problem for you. I've been this about 10 years and I'm one of the best. Okay. And they all say that, but I. Quite a bit of experience with all kinds of houses in the ground, uh, in yards and trees, so uh, deal with all kinds. I got that low rider song in my head. Curious about me, back up a little bit. Seems like a big nest, so if I can vacuum up as many as I can before a real swarm starts, all the better. That's, the obje that's always the objective. Just giving some advice for anybody who uh, might want to get into this. Here they are attacking the camera now. It does make an excellent decoy. It's kind of float home to the vacuum.
to get some PM thunderstorms, so hopefully the weather holds out. It's been kind of like this, it's been a frontal low pressure that's stalled since Tuesday. It's actually to the south, so the weather hasn't been too bad, but it's just kind of had scattered thunderstorms and rain since Tuesday, which uh, is kind of annoying. I'll try to get a piece of me, but their stingers don't seem to get stuck as much as uh, their smaller yellow jacket cousins. Gonna back up here, let him get sucked up. Still pretty docile so far. Just gotta let it do its work. Let's see, this is a two to three hundred worker nest. They're yeah, getting sucked up. This is easy, it's like working a ground nest, this one. I'm just curious to see how much of the nest is underground, how much they excavated, because there's a book by Duncan, 1939, as he said, the uh, the instinct for uh, Dolico Vescula, which is uh, the bald face for the air and area, aerial yellow jacket, the uh, behavior to excavate isn't displayed, so they don't have that behavior, but I disagree. From what I've seen, I, I, I think that they can excavate. So we'll see if this, uh, this nest uh, backs up my theory that they can excavate, that they do have the behavior to excavate. Some of them around here. I will have to trim some probably, but they don't mind. The customer actually was going to trim out this uh, this shrub anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's actually cooling off now. I feel a cool breeze, which is nice. Just as long as it doesn't start storming. Nothing worse than a rainstorm on the job when I'm working outdoors. The job I just referred out was a job that they uh, chewed like a pencil-sized hole into the ceiling and uh, I had to refer that one out to my buddy David. Just uh, didn't feel like doing any more today. I'll do some more calls by the afternoon's end. I've been getting about, I got 12 calls yesterday. And uh, I got two to two this morning. And these the two jobs I filmed today, I got uh, called Thursday night and then Friday morning. So the wasp expert's plenty busy. I'll stop by the bank after this and uh, deposit my checks. Money's rolling in. Business is good. They're getting sucked up. See, I back away, I get the GoPro away from them, they get sucked up. You can't see it as good, but it makes the job go smoother when I'm not there to obstruct them. Just kind of float back into the hose, into the vacuum. So this is an easy one. On a scale of difficulty, this is probably about a two. Very easy job. I shouldn't say very, yet. it's not over yet, but. Yeah, pretty home out in the country. A lot of bumblebees I saw flying around. Haven't gotten any bumblebee calls yet this year. Kind of disappointed, but my goal this year was to relocate some vidua nest as well as a bumblebee. Well, I got my vidua. Unfortunately, I didn't get my bumbles. My viduas are doing well. I got three active colonies right now. Should all be uh, emitting the new queens, and uh, by mid-September they're usually done. By the early October, they're probably abandoned, should be abandoned, but by, uh, so they got about another month to develop those uh, vescula vidua nest. And they're uh, strictly uh, predatory species, uh, like the bald-faced hornet. They don't scavenge uh, barbecue chicken or soda like uh, you know, Maculifrons or Germanica, Flavos do. Colonies aren't as big as a consequence because they don't go as late into the year. Just rolling the numbers down. Here I am. Battery's almost dead, so I might stop it and uh, show you some of the nest. I know a lot, a lot of people like the vacuuming, other people like uh, seeing the nest opened up. Closer here. like work at a ground nest. Well, it's easier because I can see that as sometimes with the ground nest you got to do some digging.
see here, the objective is uh, all the ones returning from fours in there to get sucked up, and it seems to be working. Some of the ones you see coming out of the nest will be missed, and that's not the objective. The objective is to get the ones returned. Everybody always seems to comment on that, which doesn't seem to get through some uh, hit stalls. But what the objective is, is to get the ones returned, not the ones leaving. branch stuck there in the back and I'm on the other side. See that out? Is that disrupting too much? Take like a piece of mulch.
All right, so here's the uh, the nest, and it was you can kind of see they smoothed out the ground below, but they didn't really dig into it. I'm gonna take it out soon. Let me show you the catch. It had reproductors too. I did let some of the new queens leave, and if males are new queens, you know it's kind of tough when you're vacuuming, but I let at least three new queens fly away. So that's uh, the catch. And like I said, it was probably about a 300 plus worker nest, I'm guessing. It's a pretty big one. Not average, but a little bigger than average, I'd say. Um, it's my hand for comparison. I'll kind of get an idea and it goes back there. So it's probably, it's a little bit wider than it is tall. Um, I did fog in the entrance hole a little bit just because um, it's right by the driveway and kind of wanted to speed things up a little bit, but it's probably about, it's over a foot wide and I'd say maybe a foot tall. So a little less than a foot tall or about a foot tall and maybe 14, 15 inches wide and maybe 12 inches tall, my guess. Pretty colors in this nest. Still some workers coming back, but we got to take care of them. Um, this is... Uh, I don't know what, what we were dealing with. Probably should cut it open after I get it out, but that's what I'll do. Alright, so I got the nest out. Um, it was mostly attached to this bush here. It's ready to cut. Um, a lot more calm now, but this is uh, the nest. Yeah. So it's got four combs, top comb, workers and males, and then the you see these fat fat people capture new queens. You see they do build some on the periphery, so queens can be reared on the periphery of the top comb. So central access for support, suspensoria, typical of the species. Uh, did look like they have another accessory comb here. So it could, could say it has uh, five combs. This is probably a reproductive comb, but it was built just to the uh, to the side under the uh, top comb. Look like there's an ant colony in here too. It's interesting. So yeah, it's got, technically it has uh, four levels of combs, but it's got five combs just because they built another comb under the, the first comb to the side of uh, the main comb set. Those are nails. You never know what you're gonna find in one of these nests. It's the ant colony. Huh. Separate it's just tricky. So a lot of nails. And uh, see if the founder's queen is up here somewhere. I think that's yeah, this is the, the original queen. Right here, she loses her ability to fly. It's the queen that started this nest. A little bit of age spots on her. That's the queen right there, and then you can see the catch. A lot of vacuuming in this video. Um, so there's another accessory comb there. Interesting how they do that. So there's two accessory combs plus the four main combs. One, one, two, three, four main combs. And then you got one, two accessory combs. So pretty interesting. kind of foggy area and that kind of gets rid of any of the stragglers. All right. Well, uh, thanks for watching. August the 17th, 2019. Bye-bye.